now for civil defense, another realistic test is held. In a two-story house on Main and Elm Streets, a mannequin family waits, 3,500 feet from atomic destruction. They're lifeless dummies, but to the civil defense officials testing bomb shelters, they could help save lives. A second home stands a mile away. America is seeking through these drills to strengthen home front defenses, for their strength means our safety. Dozens of cars are on the streets of the ghost hamlet in Nevada. And marching to within two miles of the blast center, 1,500 GIs take cover in slit trenches, closer to an atomic explosion than any human being since Hiroshima and Nagasaki. blinding flash silhouettes observers seven miles away then its ugly mushroom cloud swirls skyward within an hour the dirk kate troops all safe have abandoned their foxholes and are pushing through a veil of dust as gi's pointing geiger counters lead the way the closest house is leveled by the blast equal to 15,000 tons of tnt but small as a bombs go the second building, 7,500 feet from the explosion, still stands. Although protected by every device known to atomic scientists, troops are unable to penetrate to the blast center for many hours because of the deadly radioactive contamination shrouding the area. Val Peterson, civil defense director, warns us to prepare, for this could be your house and your window. Here again, the atomic blast. 3,500 feet away, a split second later. Past one of the cars exposed to the atomic fury, a civil defense official finally is able to reach the rubble of the two-story house we just saw topple. Almost unbelievably, mannequins in the basement bomb shelter are found to be unharmed. The second house seems to have suffered comparatively minor damage. Windows have been blown in. All Americans must work together. For the stronger our home front defenses, the less the chance an atomic attack will come. <laughs> 